won't say ciao in Italy, especially if you are coming here for the first time. I can imagine some of you like, what? What did you just say? Not say ciao in Italy? How come? I've seen it so many times in different movies. Ciao. 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 Let me explain to you how exactly it works. Hi guys, I'm Anna and I'm an experienced traveler. Welcome to my channel. Today we are having random travel hacks. The special format I'm usually having every Thursday on my channel. If you want to learn more about countries like Norway, Italy, England, Russia and so on, please feel free to check my channel for my usual long full-time videos I'm publishing every Sunday. But today it's Thursday. Super short videos. Let's dive in. Globally famous Italian ciao and why you cannot greet people this way when you come to Italy, especially for the first time. And if you can't say ciao, what should you say instead? Wait. Let's discuss everything step by step. Why can't you say ciao in Italy when you come here for the first time? First of all, guys, remember, ciao is way too informal. It's like saying hey. Would you ever say hey to your boss or to the person you see for the first time in your life? I don't think so. Furthermore, usually ciao is followed by two kisses in both cheeks. Ciao. Are you ready to kiss that person you're saying ciao to? Think twice before you do it. Again, it's super, super informal. Just a simple advice. You don't know the name, you don't say ciao. Just to point out, guys, please don't say ciao to your Italian business partners. Again, ciao is hey. Are you ready to say hey to your business partners? Are you ready to kiss them in both cheeks? I don't think so. Guys, please, 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 never ever say ciao bella on the street in Italy to any woman. No matter how bella she actually is, just word your compliment slightly be different. Just please don't scream ciao bella to anyone in Italy. It's such a cliche and actually it doesn't work in Italy. It's considered as no manners, no class at all. So please don't do it. I've never met any Italian guy in my life who would consider doing it. By the way, what you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I will be happy to read your opinion. Thanks, guys. Okay, so what can you say instead of ciao? First, buongiorno. Buongiorno, it's very formal. Good morning, good afternoon. You can use buongiorno to greet any person in Italy starting from the morning to 3, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. After 3 or 4 p.m. you should say buonasera, buonasera, which means good evening. Again, very formal, very neutral, but really nice and good greeting to people you don't know people you see for the first time, your business partners. Buongiorno, buonasera. Buongiorno from the morning to 3, 4 p.m. and buonasera after 3 or 4 p.m. If you don't want to check your watch every time you're greeting people in Italy, stick to salve, salve. Salve is super official. It's like saying hello. Hello. It's very neutral, again, and applicable for any situation in your life. You can also use salve when you start your email to your Italian business partner, salve. That's the best way. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this super short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know about it by smashing that like button. If you like this one or you want to know more about other countries, consider subscribing to my channel. Stay safe, be happy, and get ready to travel the world. Love you lots. See you next week or on Sunday. Ci vediamo, ragazzi.